This video will review the system generated alerts that will automatically be sent out for contract records. Alerts will be generated in two forms, as an email message and as a link on the My Calendar page for the specified field state value. Alerts will be sent to the employee assigned to the contract, as well as to any additionally assigned employees on the contract record, as well as be displayed on the My Calendar screen for those specified employees. On the Contract Details screen, there are three date fields that, if populated, will automatically generate and send out an alert on the entered date. Provided that the Contract Record Status field is set to a status that allows emails, alerts will always be generated for the date fields described in this video demonstration. Please see the Contract Status Overview and Management video for more information about creating and managing contract statuses and the Allow Email feature for each status. The first field is the Contract End or Expiration Date field. If a date is populated for this field, an alert will be generated automatically on the date value displayed. The second field is the Notify Days field, which is an integer field where a number can be entered to specify the number of days before the contract's end or expiration date that an alert will be sent out. The Expiration Warning Date field is the auto-calculated date that the Notify Days alert will be sent out. For example, if the contract end date is set to January 30th and the Notify Days value is set to 30, then the Expiration Warning Date value will auto-populate with a date of December 31st, which is the date the Notify Days alert will be sent out. If you do not wish to have a Notify Days alert generated, enter zero into the Notify Days field. If the Notify Days field is left blank, the field will be auto-populated with 60, which is the default value for the Notify Days field. If you wish to change the default value for the Notify Days field, go to the Manage Setup top navigation menu, select the Field Manager, and then select the Manage Fields menu option. Select the Contract Details table from the drop-down, and then select the Edit link for the Notify Days field. Enter the desired default value for the Notify Days into the Default Value text box as an integer. Next, click the Save button to save the new default value for the Notify Days field. The third field on the Contract Details screen that will automatically send out an alert is the Annual Review Date field. If a date is entered here, an alert will be sent out on the date entered. When adding a new contract record, if new Annual Review Date is entered, the system will automatically populate this field with an auto-calculated date of one year after the contract end date. To have the auto-population of the Annual Review Date field feature removed, a system administrator would need to send an email request stating that the feature be removed to support at cobblestonesystems.com. A Cobblestone support team member will then contact the system administrator once the request has been completed. System administrators are able to format and customize the email alerts that are system generated by going to the application configuration settings. Please see the Schedule Manager and Scheduled Jobs Overview video demonstration for more information. On the My Calendar screen, contract record alerts will be displayed as links on the alert date. To view the contract details screen for information about the alert, click the contract link and the contract's contract details screen will open where you will be able to view the dates for the contract and determine what action, if any, needs to be taken for the alert. This concludes the review of the system-generated alerts on contract records video demonstration.